Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Oracle SQL that is substitution variables. What is the use of the substitution variables? We can use the substitution variables to temporarily store values with single ampersand and double ampersand. Using the substitution variables, we can supplement the following where conditions, order by classes, column expressions, table names, and entire select statements. Using the single ampersand substitution variable. Use a variable prefixed with an ampersand to prompt a user for the value. How can we implement the single ampersand substitution variable? We will see it with uh, one small example. Here, here I am using the employee number and I am using the ampersand symbol in front of the employee number. So it asks for the employee number. I am giving the employee number and it gives the exact record. So if you want to select one employee number from 10,000 uh, 10, records, we can use the substitution variables. Okay. And what is the use of the double ampersand? We can see. Here, every time it, it asks for the employee number and if you don't want to do like that, you can go for the double ampersand symbol. It will give the result and whenever we execute it, it will be giving the result for the same employee number 1124. We can execute any number of times. So this is the difference between the single ampersand and double ampersand. For the character variables we have to include within the single quotes character and date values with substitution variable we have to use the single quotation marks for date and the character values. Here I am going to dy dynamically ask for the job title and I am giving clerk. It will give the result for all the persons who are having the designation clerk. Okay, And we can uh, even substitute the column name, where condition and order by class. We will see it now. Here I am going to substitute the column name as job and condition. Here I have given e name is equal to condition. There is no need to do like this. We can give the condition like this and we will execute it. Column name I am going to give job and uh, in where condition I am going to give job is equal to clerk and order by column 1 that is I am going to sort it by employee number so it will give the result like that. we can even dynamically give the column name condition and the order column this is the way we have to use the substitution variables we will see about define and how to undefine it the substitution variables in the next session Thanks, bye.